Stevia is a non-nutritive sweetener, and this means it has almost no calories. To date, the research on stevia is somewhat inconclusive, and as we discussed in this previous video, it appears that the impact stevia has on an individual's health may depend on the amount that is consumed. In the short term, because stevia is often used in place of table sugar, there's evidence that supports an overall decrease in total calories and weight management. Although this small study found that when participants had a drink sweetened with stevia instead of sugar in the morning, they compensated by eating more at lunch, along with bigger lunchtime spikes in blood glucose and insulin. And some researchers worry that long-term use of non-nutritive sweeteners could have unintended metabolic effects that might not be detected using standard toxicological tests or other measures. Many of the studies seem to be small and we're still learning about the long-term effects. So now let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger as he talks more about Stevia's effects on the body. Even safe, harmless non-caloric sweeteners like monk fruit can have negative effects and it's because it disrupts this connection that your brain establishes between sweetness and the kind of insulin reaction that's needed. When you bite into an apple, and your brain tastes sweetness on your tongue, the body, through millions of years of evolution, says, oh, I know what sweetness means. Sweetness means there's some kind of sugar in there, so I'm going to ready my body to the sugar that I know is coming. You haven't even swallowed yet, um, and your body actually starts releasing insulin to deal with the sugar it knows is coming. And it knows this much Sweetness means this much insulin release. It's not just insulin, but other compounds that are released, readying to take care of this load. But the problem is when you eat non-caloric sweeteners, so all of a sudden you eat some stevia or something, and your body's like, oh, I know what sweetness is. Sweetness means this much sugar, and so releases this much insulin and everything to deal with sugar, and sugar never arrives. And so your body just overshot itself. It can drive your uh, blood sugars actually too low, lower than they were fasting, and your body thinks, oh my God, I'm in a famine or something and spits triglycerides, is fat into your blood, have all these negative adverse effects such that then when your thermostat is off, when all of a sudden your body says, whoa, I totally overreacted with that. Here I thought this much sweetness um, required this much insulin. Actually, you can have a huge amount of sweetness. There's actually not a lot of sugars in there at all. And so your body readjusts down. But then next meal, when instead of stevia, you just eat, you know, regular food and your body totally undershoots it because it thinks, wait a second, this much sweetness, I thought only meant this much insulin, but all of a sudden I just drank some regular soda and now I'm just totally off the charts because I screwed up my system before. So you actually um, have a higher blood sugars overall eating artificial sweeteners for breakfast, for example, compared to sugar. When you average them over the day, you actually have more blood sugar exposure when skipping the sugar than if you actually just ate the sugar. And of course, best is not to eat the sugar or the non-caloric sweeteners. Stevia is not a good choice. In terms of stevia itself, it can be considered harmless if you stay under a few kind of stevia sweetened beverages a day worth, according to the World Health Organization. But just that mismatch between sweetness and actually caloric intake kind of affects that thermostat such that when you have a next meal, the next snack, your body cannot regulate your blood sugars as well. And that's why we think that diet soda consumption is associated with increased risk of, uh, of a number of diseases. This is not just from you know, aspartame and splendid, these synthetic sweeteners, but also you get the same kind of blood sugar mismatches with stevia and monk fruit. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.